for example, they picked me, my mom, and my grandma up to take my grandfather and the hearse to the funeral, um, to the cemetery. And the guy was hitting 80, 90 miles per Damn. hour down the fucking highway. Ooh. And my grandma was holding on. We were all in the back. Like, oh, my God. Slow down. My grandma's like, slow down in Spanish. And then he's like, I'm sorry, ma'am. We have a time slot for the next person. I was like. Wow. That's some yeah. New York City shit. There's so yeah. many people to bury. They got to rush. our first topic ladies and gentlemen should we use graveyards in 2023 is this uh still a way to you know bury people or is cremation the best option uh i brought this topic up because i wanted to see if like graveyards are just continuously growing you know obviously there's millions of people so it's like at some point we're gonna have to have to have a, like a cutoff right you know me and my cutoffs there's gonna be a cutoff like there's better options I was wondering if maybe you guys might want to give your intake or your input into this matter of graveyards or whatever, or you don't care. Oh, um, I would like to go like Hunter S. Thompson. Have you ever heard about how Hunter S. Thompson, like how his funeral went? No. Who's Hunter S. Thompson? He was uh, he was a Gonzo reporter. He kind of created like Gonzo journalism in, in general. Um, he's famous for um, the Rum Diaries. Uh, he did, uh, he did a big long art, long form article on the hell's angels. Uh, he did uh, fear and loathing of Las Vegas. That was his writing about a, a race that he was covering in the desert. He's this kind of out there journalist outlaw type. He did, loved drugs and alcohol and shooting guns and sometimes all three at the same time. He's, he's, he's an interesting, interesting character. But when he died, he had a cannon constructed. And he had his ashes loaded into the cannon and made into fireworks. And everyone that came together at the, you know, they had this big party and then they fired the cannon and they fired him off into the sky on fireworks. That's not bad. You're just going to have right. a bunch of me just spreading everywhere or a bunch of you just spreading everywhere. Mm -hmm. I just want to be made into some fireworks. That sounds terrible. <laughs> He's blasted out of a cannon. That just sounds, <laughs> that sounds horrible. And exploded. <laughs> Let's not forget about that point. You reach a certain just boom weird i'd want to be tossed directly into the sun Ooh. i want to fuel our, our our little solar system you know what i'm saying launched into space that's a no not into space into the sun i want boom. superman to just throw me into the sun you you end up giving the sun indigestion i'm pale it's a big ass fart the crazy thing is, Dicky, he gets intercepted by aliens or whatever, then he becomes Pucho again. <laughs> they send him back down as a god. I accept that too. Dumb. These are options. No, all right. The whole burial thing, right? I understand. Um, I don't know how the other religions, like the other major religions, like like uh, Jude like Jewish people or Muslim people, but I mean, I grew up like Catholic, so like I understand the whole like. You know, the idea that we came from the earth, so they're going to put us back in the earth or whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I don't like it. I've yeah. I've been told I've been told by religious people that uh, cremations are against the Bible because how is how is Jesus going to put your body back together and make you rise again if your ashes instead of being buried in the ground? Which That's, means yeah. the Bible is a story about zombies. And I don't think yeah. we talk about that enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's super weird. Um, or how like an all-powerful God is incapable of reforming your body from ashes. Ooh. Real but, yeah. Remember when Hurricane Katrina happened? And it yeah. flooded? You know, all those bodies just started popping out of, of graveyards. Yep. Like there were bodies that there were caskets all over the place because like the flooding caused all these like people to come out of the ground. That's just disturbing. Not that I care what happens to me after I die. I just don't want dead bodies floating around during natural disasters. Like that just feels not good. So I, I'm I until I find a more suitable form of you know burial or something like that. I'm not gonna get cremated. For, you know what I mean? What if I Have told you, you there's a, a way that's been around already for a while that you can get cremated and put your ashes into a pot with a plant and soon you'll be a plant like people have done this already 
Um, I forgot what part of Europe or something like, like that. What? You could come back as Doey's like, dick tree like by his house. That, <laughs> that would that be tree? offensive. <laughs> if I had to live the remain- remainder of my existence as that tree, I'd wish a lumberjack came around and cut me down. Okay? That'd be my wish. I mean, that's, um, that's always a viable hey, option. So wait, is that the same thing as human composting? Because I heard that's a thing now. And yep. you become um, just soil, not a tree. No, you just but become like, soil. Yeah, yeah. Th- I mean, yeah, you're just soil. Which, I don't know. You know, ashes. You know, that's like going back into the earth, right? Definitely I checked is. that. I checked that little uh, organ donor thing on my on my uh, license, right? So I'm an organ donor. They're gonna so kill I'm, you. I'm assuming that's they what... just ch- they just chop they just chop out whatever they need, and then I get cremated afterwards. I guess I could do whatever no. I want with what remains. Is that what correct? The way it works? Yeah. I think they chop out whatever they need, and then your body goes to your family to do the typical things. That, that happens to bodies. I don't. I don't think you're like bought into getting cremated or anything. But, and I don't know? mind being. A, I'm a donor as well. Like if if I die for some reason, and some little boy or somebody needs my heart, give him my heart. Little me will continue to live on in somebody else. You know. Oh, Just man, don't that, give that poor, them the brain. That, that poor boy with <laughs> that poor here, boy though. with that poor six year old boy with Tony's elephant heart beating inside <laughs> of his chest. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. He cuts his finger. It's going to be a fountain of blood. <laughs> well, How do you want to go, Tony? I've always said it, Viking style, man. Put me on the wooden raft, push my body out to sea, arrow, bow, fire, light me up. <laughs> Same as cremation. I'm going to burn. It's but- going to it's gonna be like if- Game of Thrones, dude. We're just going to be missing with every single arrow we're shooting. <laughs> What uh? What happens if the those shark that shark comes that ate that one guy? He comes and eats you. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I didn't you saw hear that video? What? Did no, not. what are you? There's a video about? of this. Go look it up. It's like a Russian guy swimming in the ocean, and these two sharks just run up on him and just eat him on they video, s- dude. Whoa. You see, they, they say it's they took one his shark. Ar- they say they took his arms off, so that he or his legs off or something, so he couldn't swim away, and then they just devoured him. It's a very disturbing video. You know, that's even more disturbing with the thing I read the other day. There was this, uh, uh, they're working on this ocean study, and they're talking about how we're probably swimming around sharks way more often than we think. Like, it's, they're, the sharks are always there. You just don't see them, but you're, you're basically swimming next to sharks every time you're in the ocean. I don't fuck with the beach, so (laughs) I'm good, bro. I don't hate, I don't like sand. I don't need none of that in my life. And yeah, and fuck you, though. Talk about the brain. I don't think there's ever been a brain <laughs> transplant ever, st- like that I've known. But fuck you. <laughs> the brain. I miss some. He said, "Oh, like, just don't give him his brain as a like when I was saying donor, donation. give him whatever. <laughs> don't give him the brain." And you agree? Yeah, fuck you too. How do you want to go? Bro? You want to get buried? I. So like I it I respect the traditional sense of like going and, and having a burial and stuff like that but i am so against the whole thing that they've created like it's it's all bullshit bro like the embalming process itself is that what you're no, talking about or? no no not like the mortuary or the morgue stuff i'm talking about like um the money of the boxes funeral homes the way they sell this shit the plots the land the they're just playing with your feelings the entire time and it's so fucked up um i've seen i've had two or three uh um different funerals four different funerals that i went to some better than others some somewhere i was like wow this is really respectful and then there was my grandfather's funeral which i was like yo this is so fucked they're like they were rushing us through the whole procession um they gave my grandfather a very terrible prayer. It was just really bad all around. And after that experience, not only that, but I went to that um, funeral home a few times. Every time I go to it, I get a sore throat or sick the next day. Every huh. single time. Huh. So I'm like, that place is dusty, <laughs> musty, and reeks of death. I'm like, that shit is just killing you when you go in there. Like what? You, what <laughs> I'm imagining myself as uh, working in a funeral home. And just hitting people with the yo, I can give you a two for one deal on the casket. Someone else dies. Like I'm just thinking of ways, like how you could say something to sell something without being like a coming off like a dick. But I don't think there's any way as a funeral guy, like Tony, you can't come off as a dick. 
I don't think you can do deals like that at funeral homes. Imagine you show up to a funeral home. It's got one of those guys outside with a sign, like spinning the sign. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't go to that funeral home. It's got the wa- the waving inflatable arm filling two men <laughs> out. <laughs> um, Bro, like, I mean, so that shit's crazy. For example, they picked me, my mom, and my grandma up to take my grandfather and the hearse to the funeral, um, to the cemetery. And the guy was hitting 80, 90 miles per Damn. hour down the fucking highway. Ooh. And my grandma was holding on. We were all in the back. Like, oh, my God. Slow down. My grandma was like, slow down in Spanish. And then he's like, I'm sorry, ma'am. We have a time slot for the next person. I was like. Wow. I was like, what is this, bro? <laughs> That's, crazy. That's crazy. That's some yeah. New York City shit. There's so yeah. many people to bury. They got to rush. Um, but in all of that, you never really answered the question. Do you want to get buried? I think personally to, to, because I don't have nobody to put that burden on. I've already seen it happen. Somebody has to pay for this shit. I don't, I don't know anybody who's going to pay for mine. So I would rather just get cremated. You. And then like, I thought we would just get you taxidermied. Yo, have you seen those funerals? <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> have you seen the they pose the Puerto Ricans do it? Puerto Ricans are the craziest people in the world. Puerto Ricans do it. You never seen it like the Bahamians and they'll I have see. them like they'll have them on like a, a motorcycle. motorcycle dead and then like that's what? that's like the wake and the funeral procession or they'll just be chilling with a blunt or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of interesting cultures. I even yeah, seen people I, in Atlanta do it in a club. I seen That's a dead man wild. getting a lap dance in a video once. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. it's a it's an old school thing, right? Because they used to do like death photography and things like that, and you would pose with like your you, you know your recently deceased. I was just at the uh, the death museum in uh, New Orleans, and they had like a whole section on like death photography and things like that. It's was it? It was a thing. It, wow. There was old timey photographs, of just like a full family of alive people, plus their dead daughter. What the? F- that's crazy. So dope. in what Madagascar, do- every few years, they unearth their dead family members. They put on like they put them in fresh clothes, and they like throw a party. They're like dancing with them and all that shit, and then they rebury them every couple years. <laughs> like oh, that's crazy. Uh, Whoa. So, though, what would you like to go? You still haven't answered. That's a cremation because it was just a cheap. But it sounds like you would prefer to get buried. But you just I would don't prefer, know but I don't I don't have the money for it. I don't you know what I mean? Like, so I mean, the correct I way, I, I think that on. how it should go. Right. Is that you leave enough money to where your funeral is not a burden to anybody. Do you know how much it costs? Oh, to yeah, it's bury yourself in New York. In oh, in New York. I don't know New how York. much New York. is. You know what I mean? It's it's. You pay oh. money, bro. You're talking about forty grand for the plot or fifty grand so, for the plot. Maybe for Tony, one person. Uh, Tony's got a solution for that, Doey. He was already gonna turn Central Park into nothing but parking. You just cut it in half and you build ah. a, you build a vertical uh, cemetery. <laughs> Maybe a see through one where you can just see through the whole entire thing in the casket. Just walk by and see everybody's dead body. <laughs> that might be a thing. How do you feel about? The uh, a sky burial, which is uh, the Tibetan monks, they get their their bodies cut into like small pieces, and they get set out for like all the birds and animals to devour them. So all they're left is just a bunch of bunch of bones. <laughs> Pretty, but bu- their their whole body gets devoured. They go right back into. The cycle of life or whatever. The circle that's, of life, I should say. That's interesting. To my Western sensibilities, that feels weird. Because, like, yeah. imagine walking by and just see all these bodies just being picked on by birds. Not only that. Yeah, what I, about the chopping? What? Yeah, who's doing who's the chopping? chopping? Yeah, who's chopping this the up? Same, you know, these funeral homes, they're cutting you open. They're filling you up with stuff. So these people are already dealing with dead bodies. Right? It's probably the oh. same type of people that are capable of doing that. We, we have a mortician buddy in our little uh, social circle here in Austin. She she has told some crazy stories. Doe's heard some of the crazy yeah, stories I've that she some. tells. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. 
I don't know. That's a hard job for me. I think that there, would be a hard oh, job. There, there's also this other religion. I don't. I don't remember. They have this tower. And this story is kind of fucked. They have like this tower. They call it the Tower of Silence. And they, the these special priests, they take the bodies up to the top of this tower, and the the tower is like filled with vultures, like like a crazy amount of vultures. And they they lay the bodies out, and the bodies just get devoured until they're just like dust on these like stone tablet or these stone like uh I don't know why I said tab I guess like yeah like a like a like a platform slabs or whatever. Yeah, yeah like slabs, and um yeah the crazy thing is this is like a tangent they started using this new medicine on cattle, and in that area. And that medicine was poisonous to vultures. So the vultures started eating like the cows that were taking this medicine and they would all start to die. So at some point, <laughs> the Tower of Silence was filled of bloated bodies. Nobody, none of the vultures are eating the bodies because there were just no more vultures in the area. Wow. It's disgusting to think about. That's but, wild. But that's a whole tangent. I just think it's, I think it's an interesting way to go is to let nature devour your body. Which is kind of what happens when you get buried in the ground anyways. But you don't got to, you know, pay for a plot of land and a funeral procession and a casket and clothes and embalming and prayers and all that stuff. But I guess what that Russian man went through is also the circle of life. <laughs> to get him chopped up. Yeah, but that guy was young, right? Yeah, that was sucks, really man. rough. I think his dad watched him get eaten alive. Oh, crazy. that's wild. Yeah. Was this a, you said this is Russia? Some, nah. Oh. Some in beach Spain, in Europe. Was a in, Russian yeah. A Spain, but it was a Russian visitor or something. Damn. Um, yeah, it's wild. We got the orcas. Have you seen the video of the orcas <laughs> taking the rudder off of the, the big ass boat? Something's that, happening down there. They're evolving. And they're, and they're like fucked humans. <laughs> I, like, saw, <laughs> I saw a picture of an orca. And it had the quote on it. You know, it said, fuck them boats. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> fuck them orcas, dude. Fuck out of here. Team orca, dude. I'd rather have an orca. I ain't orca. never been on a boat in my life. The one time I'm going to go on a boat, they're going to take my rudders out? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not, I ain't never killed no orca. The hell? I will shoot an orca. If it tries to run up on me, it's going to learn. You don't run up some new You ain't killing no orca. From I'll take my pistol out and I'll start shooting, all right? Whip I'll out that the, big, the big harpoon. <laughs> I'll be ready. Yep, like, you be on some closer. Moby Dick shit. <laughs> All right, we turning you into some tuna, damn, or whatever you turn orcas into. It's crazy. Well, they the filter fish. 